Okay. What do you see on my screen, guys? Mom Earth. Okay, very good. Thank you for your response. That's the Earth. You're correct. And uh, I'm going to ask one of you to think one word, isang word lang to describe Earth. Okay, think of one word that would best describe Earth. Okay. Round po. Round. Um, ano po, full of, full of people. People. Okay, one word lang, Adrian, one word. People. So, from the meanings or from the word that you gave me, when we're going to collect your, the words that describe this Okay, it simply goes to the to this word, earth. Okay, so for this morning, we're going to answer this um guide questions. Okay, what is the origin of the earth? What is the structure of the earth? What are the characteristic of the earth's structure? Okay, so. Tayo po ay maglalakbay, boys and girls, ngayong umaga, papunta kung paano nangyari, paano nagkaroon ng earth, ano ang kanyang saan siya gawa, no? paano, at ano yung mga pinagmulan niya. So we'll go up sa earth, we'll go on the deep down, We're going doon sa ibabaw. No, susuriin natin maigi kung ano o paano at kung ano-ano ang meron sa ating tinatawag ninyong home, life, rocky, polluted. Okay? We're going to describe or we're going to discuss it this morning. Okay. Before anything else, the earth Okay, before yan magkaroon ng tayo ng Earth, meron po munang pinatawag ng mga theories that revolves around it. Siyempre, dati naman boys and girls, alam naman natin na hindi pa modern age like right now. Tama ba si ma'am? No? Hindi modern Earth, hindi modern age dati. Talagang as in lahat ng lahat ng ating mga uh, lahat ng ating mga gadgets noon wala pa yan. Talagang hindi pa gaano tagi. Kaya ang mga tao, they were thinking, how was the universe is being formed? Paano nagawa? Saan ang galing? Sino ang gumawa? Okay, so nagkaroon sila ng mga theory. Okay, I know what you are reading on your screen, maybe you heard it or napag-aralan nyo na at alam nyo na. Okay, so sa inyo ko na yan bibigay, sa inyo ko na yan itatanong kung ano po yung mga theory na yan. Number one is the Big Bang Theory. Is there anyone in the group has an idea what is the Big Bang Theory? Yes, Errol. Um, about for the sun? Yes. What the happened? Sun. What happened to the Big Bang Theory? Ano daw yung Big Bang Theory? Yun po yung ano po, yung sumasawag-sawag ko para makabawa po ng mga ganang planet, etc. Okay, ayun yung sabi ni Errol. Ang pagkakaalala niya daw sa Big Bang Theory ay merong explosion. Okay, thank you, Errol. Errol, oh, meron na kayong idea, guys. Oh, who else po? Ang meron pang ibang idea or yes, what is Big Bang Theory? Um, yes. Um, ang pagkakaalala ko po ay katulad po na sabi ni Kuya Errol po na may sumabog po and this cause na ang world na mag-expand na mag-expand because of that explosion. Okay. Contributing to universe po. Okay. Thank you for your answer. Both of you, 
or some of you may be thinking, ganun nga yata yung Big Bang. Yes, opo. The Big Bang, the, the Big Bang Theory, okay, explains that the Earth, okay, ang Earth daw, tama kayo. Okay? Na from a small, tiny particle, okay, from a small, a tiny matter, they believe from this nagkaroon ng this extremely dense ball of matter of or energy okay exploded okay into a fireball and then it ejected matter and energy with high velocities which approach and with a speed of light and some later it become it separated and some and it become the universe na raw So, yun ang kanilang theory noon. So, nagkaroon ng isang malaking explosion ng matter and these explosions na kumalat at nag-form, it now, it was now called as the universe. Okay. That is the first theory that they have think of. Siguro meron sumabog, sabi ng mga tao. Ano? At Nagkaroon ng universe. Okay? Yan ang kanilang theory noon, ang kanilang paniniwala. Okay, next is this theory. Okay, this steady theory. Okay. Although the Big Bang theory is the most popular theory to date until to this now. Ay, alam ko na yung Big Bang theory, kaya nga Big Bang yan eh. May pagsabog. It is not the only theory that goes around no, nung una pa. A competitive hypothesis arose in 1940s in the form of steady state theory. The scientist who proposed this hypothesis was Fred Howley, who believed that the universe was covered by two principles. One, the cosmological principle and the perfect cosmological principle. And the former, okay, the former is that the idea of the universe is uniform in space, while the latter is the idea that the universe is unchanging in time. Under this theory, boys and girls, the stars and galaxies change, but the universe remains the same as the whole. In the steady theory, it predicts that the universe is expanding, but it also predict, predicts that new matter is being created through a field of empty space left behind by the universe expansion. So, sa steady theory po, boys and girls, in simpler words, naniniwala sila na nag expand na nag expand na nag expand ang universe. Okay? Yun ang paniniwala. Yun ang theory. No? Nang nila. Nung ano na po na to. Nung hypothesis ni Fred Howley. Sabi niya, nag expand ang universe. At dun sa pag expand na yun, okay, nakakaroon yan ng mga sinasabi niyang uh, lumalaki ng lumalaki yung universe. Ganun ang kanya. Uh, hypothesis. Ganun ang kanyang ganun niya na perpedic. Okay? However, this theory fails in one significant way. Why? The average age of the star should be approximately the same if the matter is continuously created everywhere. Sabi niya dahil nga nag expand yun. So, habang nag expand siya, na may nakikreate nang may nakikreate. Pero sabi naman ng ibang mga uh, nag-aaral din, parang hindi siya akma sa age ng stars. Tanong, side question lang po ito ni ma'am. Paano niyo po malalaman ang age ng stars? Boys and girls. Um, yes. Sa laki. Sa, sa color, laki. Ma'am. Sa color. Sino yung sabi ng color? Sino yung sama... Sino po yun? James Lewis. Yes, James Lewis. You are correct. Basi po sa color. 
Okay? The age of the star is based on their color. Correct? Very good. Okay. The age of the stars is based on the color. But then, when they, then nung nilista nila, they were um, studying again the story, they say na, teka lang, parang hindi ako ma yung expansion sa age ng mga stars base dito sa sinasabi na expansion na stage Okay. So again, Um, so that is the state state theory. Okay, next is nagkaroon na naman ng bagong theory. Ano naman 'yon? This is the plasma universe na as you all know, meron tayong solid, liquid, gas, and the fourth one is plasma. So, plasma is the fourth state of matter. Okay, in the plasma theory, They say that the universe is made of plasma. Okay. Sabi kasi nila ni Heinz Alfen, a Nobel laureate, created na a new model since he is a plasma physicist. The theory first state that it has been observed that 99% of the observable universe is made of plasma. So he was thinking that the earth is made of plasma. Okay, sabi niya parang ano, sa, dahil sa 99% nagawa ang universe of plasma at meron itong plasma, ano, um, gawa ito sa plasma. It's made of plasma. Okay, sometimes, uh, sabi ko nga sa inyo, this theory also discounts the Big Bang Theory and states that the Earth and life science is the sixth universe is crisscrossed by electromagnetic field and electric currents. Okay, but then again, as time goes along, the evidence from the plasma university does not come from direct other observations of the sky. Rather, they came from laboratory experiments. So sabi nila, hindi naman yan galing sa ano talaga, eh, hindi galing sa observations from the outside of the earth. It was, came from only in laboratory lang. So, hindi pa rin. So, a lot of people were thinking, saan nga ba galing ang ano? Saan, ba, saan nga ba galing ang universe? So, they were thinking like that. Saan galing? No? May napayaran pa akong nabasa na sabi nila, ang earth daw ay nakapatong yan noon nakapatong yan sa isang malaking pagong at nandoon ang ang earth nakapatong sa doon meron pa sabi nila the earth sabi may narinig kasi ako kanina sabi niya ma'am the earth is round okay nag meron pa theory noon na sabi nila ang earth hindi yan round the earth is flat kasi pag nakapunta ka na doon sa dulo ng dagat malalaglag ka So, yun ang kanilang theory. Napakaraming theory ang napag-aralan. But then again, as time goes along, they, meron na tayong expedition, meron ng uh, nag-evolve ang tao at nag-discover siya ng discover. Until such time, it was discovered that the earth is hindi siya flat. Okay? Hindi siya flat. Okay. Now, as the earth has discovered that the uh, um meron siyang it's round now it's now they were thinking nag-iisa lang ba ang earth okay so iniisip na nag-iisa lang ba sa outer space of earth okay so meron na namang isang din discover how does the solar system is being formed solar means boys and girls yung solar, ano ang tinutukoy ni ma? Okay. Correct. Very good. The sun. Okay. Kaya nga sa sinabing solar system. Together with the solar. O yung main. Okay. They say that it was a spinning disk in the space. A gas collected in the center of this spinning disk, a proto-sun, was created. Molecules in the protosuns collided with each other, which, which caused heat to form. In these rays, temperatures up to 
million degrees of Celsius. The heat and violent clashes between molecules allow the creation of nuclear, nuclear reaction, which is turned into protosuns into a star. Uh, Ma'am, alam ko, you know that the sun is not a planet, right? Alam nyo ba yun? Boys and girls? Yes. Yes, it's a star. No, alam ko yun. Elementary days pa lang kayo. Pinag-aaralan nyo na yun. Okay? So, it's not a planet and it's a um, star. So, sa ang pinakamatandang star? Tama ba si ma'am? Okay. So, kung meron ka ng sun, paano naman yung planets? Okay. Now, in the disk that surrounded the protosuns, a process called accreation formed the planets, comets, moons, and asteroids. Okay, again, in the disk that, surround, that is surrounded the protosun, a process called accretion formed the planets, comets, moons, and asteroids. A small particles are crashed together from the large from larger and larger particles, eventually reaching the size of the planet Simos, which are several kilometers big. These planets were big enough to have their own gravity. They cause even more collisions around them. Okay, in these planets that are near the sun, the water evaporated and gases were swept to the outside and only heavier materials could become solids. Young planets were formed from the materials. Further away from the sun, the temperature is cooler. The amount of ice were uh, big enough that the that planet is covered with this ice, which created the core of the planets such, such as Saturn and Jupiter. So, ang ating Earth ay pang ilan po sa mga planets? Pang ilan? Okay, pang third. Our planet is pang third tayo. Okay? So, pang third po ang planet Earth, which is a very, very um, exact place. Bakit sinabi ni Ma'am na exact? place because hindi siya masyadong malamig hindi rin siya masyadong mainit kasi kung masyado tayong malapit malamang walang living things in the earth kung masyado naman tayong malayo wala rin living, living creatures here, living things, why? kasi sobrang lamig naman so the planet earth is being placed on its proper position okay now, nandun na tayo sa labas. Okay? So, meron na tayong universe. May solar system na tayo because we have the sun and then the planets. Now, let us now go to our own planet. Okay, this one. Before we enter the Earth, okay, bago ka makapasok ng Earth, meron tayong...